Greetings. We come in peace. How's it going today, Cronkite? Oh, it's going just well. How are you? I am doing good. Here to Chew Bubblegum, episode number 30, roundtable number two. Yeah. Well, your voice sounds a lot better today, too. It does. Well, I feel a lot better good. than I did last week. Good. You don't look like the um, uh, Mucinex booger anymore. Well, th- thanks. You're welcome. You want to go ahead and introduce the guest, or you want me to? Sure. Um, to my immediate right. Straight uh, across the table from me. Oh, you mean you want to do it? Okay. Yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. To my immediate right, uh, looking mighty spooky, is Elliot, as always. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may be listening. It's Elliot. Spooky Family Podcast. I think if we just stare at him, maybe he'll keep going. We may. You can visit us at SpookyFamilyPodcast.com. Please visit us. I thought it was .net. We do have a .net. Oh, okay. But we have .net.org and .com. Oh, really? You I bought them all. So there, there you go. go. There you go. Well, I'm making, making sure, sure he's nobody out there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then straight across from me there to your immediate left, my fine feathered friend, is Justin with Talk Junkie. How you doing today? Very good. Thank you guys for having me. Oh, thank you for being here. It's always great to have somebody from my hometown on the show in Bunker Studios. Who who was it? Was it Cameron that went down and found it? Yeah, James Cameron. Now, I think the one thing he was able to prove from that is there was definitely room for Jack on the board. Oh, there was? That, yeah, there so, was definitely. So the board actually ended up sinking then. Yeah, she was really a cruel yeah. human being. She was. She was. Yeah. She's very yeah. cruel. I mean, she had a nice necklace, though. <laughs> Paint me, Cronkite, <laughs> like those girls in your picture. <laughs> <laughs> What's your... <laughs> so we're talking about the Denver airport. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know well, what I'm saying? Like, and it would be so much easier if they would reach back out to me and let me do this interview. They emailed me once and they said, yes, we'd be open for an interview. And then I've emailed them twice since then and I've gotten nothing. So well, maybe you should call them right now. I'm thinking that maybe perhaps they've listened to the show and be like, oh no, those guys are really good at truth seeking and we're not doing that because they're going to find us out. They're like, Ask for Buff Bagwell and that could get you straight in because I know that he's high up in the NWO. So. Buff Bagwell, got it. Yeah. All right, let me see if I can find the airport number here. You guys want to oh. talk amongst yourselves? Sure. I've actually got it right here. Do you want me to call it? Sure. Okay, here we go. Again, we are calling the Denver International Airport. For those who are just joining us. I-A. Should be ringing. Welcome and thank you for calling Denver International Airport. Thank you for calling Denver International Airport. This is Melissa. Could I have your first and last name, please? Hi, Melissa. This is Cronkite. I'm with here to Chew Bubblegum. I'm just hoping to speak with you about um, some of the conspiracies that surrounding the Denver International Airport, like the gargoyle that says, okay. welcome to the New World Order. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, do you care to talk with us for a few minutes? Sure can. Awesome. All right. So what do you say about the uh, – So, correct me if I'm wrong, but I hear that this airport was built and then um, – and then there were some issues, and then they just covered it over and built a new airport. Is that correct? Mm, not that I'm aware of. They no, they didn't do like a restart. Okay, so there's like not secret underground uh, baggage claim, or, like tunnels. Yeah, there's a baggage system that's underneath. Um, yes, but it's not a secret tunnel. All the rampers and airlines go into to deliver the bags. 